In this video, we're going to be looking at the roller coaster life of Selling Sunset star Chriselle Staus, from her bizarre birth and childhood in poverty to her insanely bad luck when it comes to her love life, and even allegations that she's not what she claims to be. What is it about her that's led to multiple men allegedly cheating on her in very public ways? Is there any truth to the rumour she also had an affair with a married man? So here's the thing, while Selling Sunset was the first time that many reality TV fans might have been introduced to Chriselle, she was already a familiar face to soap fans, where she had lead roles on several popular series such as Days of Our Lives, The Young and the Restless and All My Children. And that begs a question, what's a talented actress doing selling real estate? And how much of Selling Sunset calls on Chriselle's acting chops versus her sales skills? Well, according to her boss Jason Oppenheim, nothing is scripted. All the drama, including the fallouts between cast members, is 100% real. But that still led to many questioning just how real the cast members' real estate licenses are. Even Chrissy Teigen weighed in on the drama, saying that she'd been asking her own real estate agent about the stars of the show, and her agent hadn't heard of any of them. Jason Oppenheim was quick to defend his team, saying he hadn't heard of Chrissy's agent either, and that his team works hard and is successful, so if people don't know their names now, they soon will. And get this, in an ironic twist of fate, it turns out that Chrissy Teigen and her husband John Legend may soon be getting very familiar with the Oppenheim group because a wealthy Oppenheim client is apparently interested in purchasing their Beverly Hills mansion, currently on the market at $24 million. So what about these questions about Chriselle's credentials? Is she really a real estate agent or is it all being faked for the show? Well, Chriselle wasn't about to let her boss fight her battles for her. She posted an old Instagram story from back in 2016, way before Selling Sunset was even a thing, where she was celebrating becoming, you guessed it, a real estate agent for the John Arrow Group. So yeah, she's certainly not new to the scene. Okay, so we know that she's a real estate agent, but what was her life like before she joined Selling Sunset? Well, she's mentioned a few times on the show that she grew up poor, and at one stage she was actually homeless. It's no exaggeration to say, Chriselle's family definitely went through some hard times. Even Chriselle's birth was unusual. Let me explain. So, back in July 1981, a heavily pregnant Renee Strauss realised her car was about to break down. Fortunately, she was able to pull into a Shell gas station and find a mechanic to help her. It was whilst at this Shell gas station that she went into labour. An attendant named Chris helped her get to the hospital, which is where her name Chris Shell comes from. Chris the helper, Shell the gas station, Chris Shell. As a young girl, she was raised in Missouri and Kentucky and spent most of her early life living in trailer parks, something for which she was made fun of relentlessly at school, but which she's proud about now. Her parents worked hard, but they couldn't always make ends meet, and so they moved from trailer parks to cheap rental apartments, and for a period she was even homeless, when she was in 7th grade and 10th grade. About that experience, she said, quote, As you can imagine, as a high schooler, it wasn't the coolest thing. It was just really hard to live the lie at school and make sure no one knows. Even thinking about it now, I start to sweat. There was no real need to sweat because Chriselle remained a hardworking student and after she graduated high school and college, she threw all of her energy into making it big in the entertainment industry. And speaking of the entertainment industry, remember the TV show Glee? Well, back in 2007, while Chriselle was getting her first big break in the hit series All My Children, she was actually engaged to Glee star Matthew Morrison. The pair had been dating for a year when Matthew proposed, and everything seemed hunky-dory. That is, until the wedding plans came to a screeching halt. Matthew publicly admitted that he felt, quote, pressurised by society to take the plunge, and that he soon realised as soon as he did that it wasn't the right decision. Chriselle, though, had another thought. 
She's quoted as saying, quote, I decided to break off our engagement because I believed he was seeing other people and just wasn't ready to fully commit. And who exactly was he alleged to be seeing? None other than Glee co-star Leah Michelle. Now, I've got to point out that Matthew has denied these allegations, even calling them, quote, laughable. But remember that scene in season one where Chriselle says, Actually, if I ended up with the person I was with at 25, I would want to kill myself. <laughs> and yeah, you can Google that. You were a dick. <laughs> Sorry. Oh well, we Googled it for you. It was Matthew. And even if he denies cheating on Chrishell, Leah did come out and admitted that she and Matthew had dated in the past. So make of that what you will. I don't know about you, but if my engagement ended as abruptly as Chrishell's, I'd probably be throwing myself into my work to try and distract myself. And Chrishell was planning to do the same if the next bomb hadn't dropped. You see, at the time, her producers from the show All My Children had the idea to do a crossover show with the hit show The Bachelorette, and they planned to make Chrishell the star. It was all in the works, almost ready to go. Starring in these two ultra popular shows would have made Chrishell a household name. However, it just wasn't meant to be. As fate would have it, in The Bachelor, Brad Womack let Deanna Pappas go, and that didn't sit well with the show's fans, to the extent that Ellen DeGeneres, yep, that Ellen, personally called ABC executives to convince them to cast Deanna Pappas in The Bachelorette. And I guess when Ellen calls you up personally with a suggestion, I guess that's pretty much a done deal. And so, just like that, Chriselle's bachelorette dreams were crushed. After those two back-to-back -back heartbreaks, Chriselle was certainly due a little bit of luck, and that came in the form of Justin Hartley. Now, just like Chriselle, Justin had also been on our screens for a long time. At the time they met, he'd already starred in Passions, Smallville, and The Young and the Restless. The two met after being set up by a mutual friend, and it really does sound like it was love at first sight. Their first date was a concert, and Justin says that he drove her home and immediately called her the next day. Chrishell texted their mutual friend, saying, quote, I found him. The fairy tale continued with a happy loved up three years of dating, followed by a dreamy proposal and a perfect stylish intimate wedding complete with handwritten vows exchanged under a canopy of trees, and in attendance were 75 guests, including many TV stars. It was meant to be the official start of their long life together, but just two short years later, it ended in divorce, tears, and confusion. Now, there are some rumours that one of the potential causes for their divorce may have been, at least partially, due to Chrishell joining the Selling Sunset show. As you probably remember, although Justin was frequently mentioned on the show, he never actually appeared on it. And talking about that, Selling Sunset producer Adam DiVello said that they'd asked him to make an appearance a few times, but every time they asked, he declined. That may have been because he apparently had reservations about Chriselle's new career path. At the time, Chriselle was calm about it, and she said that he had questioned whether or not this was the right decision for her, saying, quote, That was a normal conversation that you have with anybody in your life who cares about you. They were normal conversations of concern. Well, Chriselle might have been calm then, but in season three, she received two pieces of news that sent her world into a tailspin. In April 2019, Chriselle's father sadly passed away after a prolonged battle with lung cancer. It was heartbreaking news for Chriselle, who had a very close relationship with her dad. Then, two months later, Justin heartlessly filed for divorce. The way that he ended things is probably one of the most bizarre and heartless ways that you could do it. He divorced her via text message after he filed. 45 minutes later, the rest of the world knew too. And as we saw on the show, 
That whole scenario created so much intrigue and mystery that she was thrust into an entirely different spotlight, with paparazzi following her and news outlets and fans hounding her for her side of the story. At the time, Chriselle was consoled by her friend and co-worker Mary, but as nice as Mary was, her longtime Selling Sunset frenemy Christine was also going to let her thoughts be known about the issue. So just to set a bit of context, Chriselle and Christine had a lot of previous history. It seemed to start when a client decided to go with Chriselle instead of Christine to be her agent. And that kind of escalated when Christine, who clearly wasn't happy about losing a client to a new agent, then got involved in the he said, she said drama with Davina. And all of that led to Christine naming a drink Chriselle's two-faced tonic at a party she threw, one that Chriselle wasn't even invited to. So yeah, with all of that previous drama between them, when Christine was asked by Page Six about Chriselle's divorce, her response, as expected, ruffled a few feathers. She alleged that Chriselle and Justin were, quote, having communication problems for some time, and that they might have even been going through marriage therapy. As you can expect, these comments did not sit well with Chriselle, who took to Twitter to blast Christine. She wrote, quote, I just learned Christine is giving press information about my divorce. Let me be very clear. She knows absolutely nothing about the situation and is obviously desperate to gain attention by doing so. Anything from her is either a complete lie or total conjecture on her part. Ouch. I think it's pretty clear for all to see that Chrishell isn't about to forgive Christine anytime soon. She said that Christine's behaviour off screen has even been worse than on screen and she just doesn't see the need to be friends with her. As for her divorce with Justin, well the fact that neither Chrishell nor Justin spoke out about the circumstances surrounding their breakup led to the online rumour mill going into overdrive. Of course, there were the usual rumours about cheating, particularly on Justin's side. Shortly after their divorce, like very shortly after their divorce, Justin started dating Sophia Pernas. Justin and Sophia are co-stars on Blood and Treasure, and they started working together months before Justin filed for divorce. And to add fuel to the fire, Chriselle had been liking tweets suggesting that Justin cheated on her. But this isn't the first time Chriselle suspected Justin of cheating. Sources close to the couple say that she was often jealous of his relationship with his co-stars. He had many on-screen romances with beautiful women. And I don't know, maybe that jealousy played out at home. Who knows? The cheating, if true, was certainly bad enough. But even in the lives of the Hollywood elite, money seems to be another possible wedge that ruins happy marriages. You see, during the same time that Chriselle's career was taking off in Selling Sunset, Justin was enjoying his own fame in the critically acclaimed This Is Us TV series. Shortly before their divorce, he signed on for three more seasons because of the huge public demand. At $250,000 per episode and 18 episodes per season, that's, wait a second, let me do the math, that's $4.5 million. It's a pretty decent sum of money to be rolling around with. And that's where things get murky. You see, while Chriselle claims that the marriage ended on November the 22nd, 2019, court documents obtained by TMZ show that Justin listed the separation date much earlier, July the 8th, 2019. Now, judging by their red carpet and social media pictures, they were still very much together up until the last minute. Just days before he filed for divorce, they were being snapped by the paparazzi at the Golden Globe Awards, very much the image of a happy and loving couple. So why then would Justin cite such a weird date? Well, between that time, that was when he got his comfy little pocket change. Remember that $4.5 million? And under Californian law, Chrishell is eligible to receive half of everything he made when they were together, since they didn't sign a prenup before getting married. But 
if he filed before the money came through, she wouldn't receive a penny. Like everyone else, we're left to speculate about what really went on. Of course, there's two sides to every story, and while Chriselle's story played out on TV, so we saw a lot from her perspective, Justin has been totally silent on the issue. All he said is that he cautioned his daughter and everyone else not to believe everything they read. Now, although Justin and Chriselle didn't have any children together, they both doted on his daughter, Isabella, who he had with his previous wife, Lindsay Hartley. Isabella was the flower girl at their wedding when they got married. Chriselle and Isabella seem to have a good relationship, but sadly, their relationship seems like it's now totally broken down. They've recently unfollowed each other on Instagram, and Justin's priority, he says, is keeping Isabella away from any negative things Chriselle is saying about him. So, in the aftermath of all of this fallout, how does someone get over all of this? Well, Chriselle actually doesn't seem to be faring too badly. She's been bubbly and optimistic in her interviews, she attended therapy, and worked through some of her issues. Apparently, she's also had a flock of unnamed celebrity admirers flying around in her DMs. And of course, she also appeared on Dancing with the Stars. But that too wasn't without controversy. Honestly, talk about bad luck. It seems like no matter what she does at the moment, controversy seems to follow her around. You see, on Dancing with the Stars, she was partnered up with Gleb Savchenko, and although her performances didn't really wow the judges or the viewers, she came in eighth in the competition, she did win viewers over with her sparkly personality and her resilience. Because during the course of the season, Chriselle received another piece of heartbreaking news. Just one year after her dad passed away from cancer, Chriselle's mum also passed away from the same disease. To honour her parents' memory, Chriselle dedicated one of her performances to her parents, and it was honestly one of the most heartfelt and beautiful performances on the show to date. And then, as if things couldn't get even worse, just around the corner was more love life drama. This time, it was her partner Gleb who filed for divorce from his wife of 14 years, Elena. And you guessed it, it didn't take long for people to start pointing out how close Gleb and Chriselle had become. And soon enough, cheating rumours started to do the rounds. Sources close to the duo confirmed that they had apparently been texting each other often, and their communication apparently crossed some flirtation lines. He even sent her flowers after their first fight. But friends can send flowers too, right? Both Gleb and Chrishell have flat out denied any cheating, and both are adamant that they're just good friends. And her Selling Sunset co-star, Amanza Smith, jumped to her defence, reminding people that she went through an extremely public divorce that involved cheating. So going down that road is the last thing that she would do. Chrishell, however, has faced a massive backlash over everything, prompting Gleb to release a statement defending her. He said, quote, While I will continue to respect the privacy of my family, I will not stand by and allow false accusations and internet rumours to go unaddressed. My relationship with Chrishell was and remains strictly platonic. Elena and I have had long-standing issues in our marriage. This has been an ongoing situation between Elena and I, paired with poor timing. Gleb's ex-wife, Elena, has confirmed that they're divorcing due to his many affairs, including a recent, quote, inappropriate relationship. So yeah, make of that what you will. That's obviously led to a lot of people believing that the relationship they had on the show may well have crossed some boundaries. For what it's worth, my take on this, I think given that she was cheated on in such a public way, I think it's very unlikely she would then enter into a relationship with someone cheating on his wife, but you just never know. And of course, that's not to say that there wasn't any romance going on at all behind the scenes, because on December the 2nd, Chriselle posted this loving picture on her Instagram, showing her cuddling up with Kyo Motsepe, who is one of the professional dancers from the show. And just to make things crystal clear, the following day in a podcast interview, she confirmed that she was indeed in a relationship with Kyo. 
And soon enough, within weeks, there they were, sharing photos of themselves together during Christmas, spending time with Chris Shell's family. So, what's next for this feisty star? Reality TV star, actress, influencer, real estate agent, and model, she's certainly a busy woman who does it all. And good for her. She deserves all the luck that she can get. We're certainly rooting for her for a happily ever after. What are your thoughts on Chriselle? Have you been inspired by her work ethic and her positive attitude? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, do me a favor. If you've made it this far to the end of the video, take just two seconds to hit that like button to show your support. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.